This is Mies, a tool for managing different versions of Node, Python, Ruby, basically anything, making your life as a developer much easier by not having to download different version managers or even a package manager like Brute. But one really cool feature of Mies is that you can use it to install NPM packages. Yep, that means no node modules folder and no package JSON, or does it? Let's get into it. And before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Inspired by the French term for preparing food before cooking, Mise en Place, or just Mise, is a polyglot tool manager written in Rust by Jeff Dickey, which, and I'm not exaggerating, will change the way you develop forever. Check this out. So I've just SSH'd into a fresh Linux server. As you can see, there's not much here. Here are some useful dev tools that I've installed with Brew on my local machine but I can actually install these with Mies. So after installing it on my server, running Mies Doctor to check if there are any problems and then activating it for bash, I can run this command to install the Oxide. And if I check the version, you can see it's been installed correctly, meaning I can now use the Oxide in my server. And if I run Mies config, we can see that it's added the Oxide to this config toml file. This means I can commit this file or share it with a colleague and all they have to do is run Mies install to get all the tools. If I run Mies install instead of Mies use and then run Mies ls, we can see that node has been installed, but it hasn't been added to a config file. So let's remove it and we can install it with use and specify a version, which now shows that it's been put into the config toml file. And we can also run Mies tool node to get information about a specific tool. If we wanted to take a look at everything that can be installed with Mies, we can run Mies registry, where we can see things like SQLite, open code, the GitHub CLI, Claude Squad, and many, many other tools. We can also run Mies upgrade with the bump flag to bump a tool to its latest version, meaning Node has now gone up to version 24, or we can manually update the version inside the toml file and run Mies install which will install node version 23. But we can also install any NPM package that we want. Let's say I have two node projects that I want to run tests on with vtests. Now, these are all actually empty directories, so you have to use your imagination here. But if I run Mies use npm vtest, once it's installed, I can now run vtest and it will run tests in my project, which because these are empty directories, there aren't any. But what if I only wanted vtest to look in these two directories and not the one for this Go project? For that, we could use tasks in Mies, which are similar to npm scripts. I could add this tasks block to the Mies config toml with this test task and this script. So now if I run this command, it's going to run vtest in just these two directories and not the Go one. And the best part is, Mies isn't just restricted to NPM. You can install .NET packages, Cargo for Rust, Go, and even Ruby gems. But you can also have project specific tools. In the Go project, I'm going to run Mies use Go. And now if I run Go version, it gives me the version of Go as 1.250. But if I go into the root directory and then run Go version, it tells me that the Go command is not found. This is because Go is installed in the Mies config file in the Go project directory and nowhere else. So I only have access to it inside this directory. But what if you have environment variables or secrets that you want to share between projects? Yep, Mies can take care of that too. Say, for example, all these projects shared a deployment variable. I can set that up in Mies like this, which creates a new Mies toml file different from the config toml file. And this contains just our environment variable, which I can also see by running Mies env. And because it's treated as a shell environment variable, all our projects should have access to it. So if I wrote some code just to print out that environment variable, when I run the file, it does just that. But if I already have a .env file with a super secret key, I can just add that like this and Mies will get access to it. And you can even redact values and see them like this so that they can be masked in CI/CD pipelines. As you can imagine, I could go on and on about all of Mises' features, like adding aliases and descriptions to tasks, running hooks, and creating or using plugins. Man, there's a lot there. But does this mean you can finally get rid of the node modules folder in your project? 
Not exactly. I think for global CLIs like PM2 or Kill Ports, then it makes sense to install it with Mies. But for project specific packages like React or Next.js, it makes sense to install those with NPM so that if you deploy it to somewhere like Vercel, it can read the package JSON and install the correct dependencies. And when it comes to other Polygot version managers like ASDF, well, Mies claims to be faster than the Bash and Go version of ASDF and more secure. So if you were thinking of using a tool like that, I'd suggest you use Mies instead. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm actually thinking of creating a Mies TOML file for all the packages that I use Brew to install so that if I go into a new Linux server, I can just run Mies install to have my common packages. But what do you think of Mies? Are you going to use it? Are you going to stick to what you already have? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you like podcasts, then do I have good news for you? We have our own podcast that you can listen to on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and on YouTube. Go ahead and search for the Better Stack podcast. And until next time, happy coding.